back to Summit Sunrise. I am joined by Jim Tillich with the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery and Plato. Welcome. Plato. Yes, thank you. Plato the gallery dog. Hello, sweetie. Oh. He, uh, we named him Plato because he seems to think things through. You know, he, I get he's that. A, he's, he's a, a philosopher, <laughs> a philosopher, Yorkie. Right. Well, thank you so much for joining <laughs> me this morning. You have brought, um, you always bring in really cool pieces from all over the world. And today is no exception. Um, we have a Ukrainian artist that we're talking about that's featured in your gallery. Yes, mm -hmm. Mr. Grigorash. Oh. Grigorash. Real mm -hmm. standard Ukrainian mm. name. Oh, okay. He's from the Black Sea area. Mm, beautiful. And he loves to paint ships, sails, uh, all sorts of landscapes as well, but mm -hmm. he loves the sea. Well, and I can you, tell, you can tell from his photos. Oh, and here you are, mm -hmm. you can kind of see, yeah. you can see the sea. There, he's got a tonal, this is called a tonal piece of art, mm -hmm. because it's all grays with a little bit of color blended in. Oh. And, but the uplift and the feel of that and his love for the Black Sea. You can smell really it. Out. Yeah, yeah, you really can. It's beautiful. And he's got just enough dark around the, the lower part of the boats and the sails. And maybe he even extended the masts a little bit for uh, drama. To, to, for drama to bring it up. I mm -hmm. like that. Uh -huh. Well, it definitely right. is, this, like I said, it's kind of a statement piece. And you can, you can like smell and feel the air when you look mm -hmm. at this, I feel like. And then you also, um, there's some beautiful... Uh, sea photos, or photo. He, I want to say photos because they look like a photo. It looks. He it paints looks, them so well. It's amazing. Exactly. Yeah. When he when he sits there and sets his easel up by the by the Black Sea, uh, he just let. Well, there it is. I mean, is. it looks I mean, like a photo. It's amazing, and that's a painting. It does. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. He's got a lot of depth in it, and if you'll notice, he's got sparkles of color that seem to come out toward you mm -hmm. because he he backs away dabs a little, moves away, comes in, and the end result is it sparkles with life. Oh, it, it, it like, I mean, you can even hear it when you look at this. Yeah, you it's, really can. It, you really, it's, really can. It's beautiful. For, so for some people who haven't been to the Black Sea, mm -hmm. this is the visit. Right, you, know, this you, is, you, hey, you can say that you've been there. Like. It's true, yeah. it, really, it really does take you there. Uh -huh. And then I believe there's one more from him as well, and it's just, there. they take you right to, oh, this one. Now, the I'm rocks, sitting right on that rock right there, by ex the way. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> how beautiful can it get? He understands how to paint the sky. And you notice how he keyed in, even though gray is his base color, mm -hmm. look at the nice earth tones that come from those rocks. And then with the sun, I don't know, coming up or going down, mm -hmm. you've got that special morning or afternoon light. The, just, the pink and the warm, like mm -hmm. kind of yellow tones. Almost just bathing those rocks. And yet the lights coming through the breaking wave. They're just beautiful, and they're all featured at your gallery. Yes, they're all up on the wall right now. But we have another artist that you're featuring as well, a Russian yes. artist from Moscow. From Moscow. Mm -hmm. His name is Mr. Bertov. Okay. And uh, he's just a lot of fun, and he paints fun. Notice he doesn't take lots of colors, obviously, mm -hmm. so when you have an artist using that many colors, mm -hmm. it has a lot to do with He's not focused on any one single thing. Mm -hmm. He's trying to give you a happy, bright part of your wall where you hang this above, uh, above the table or something. Lively. Above the, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wake everybody up. It's, uh, he has two sons, mm -hmm. and his wife works at a bank, and he's, he's hilarious. They have a car, okay. so they drive me around Moscow. Oh, and <laughs> I'm sure that's an adventure. Everybody's in the back seat, and he and I are in the front. <laughs> And it is a real adventure. And, and we've gone down this street, too. This is not far from his house. Oh, lovely. Uh, he, it's a little bit outside of Moscow by, say, 10 or 12 miles. Okay. Moscow is huge, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he, he wants you to feel the day. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to do detail. He wants brushstroke to be a little bigger. And color block is not the right terminology. But when he puts color... Oh, I love this one. He adds a little and makes it stand out. Right. Like the uh, that's near that's basically Red Square in the distance, and mm -hmm. and one of the bridges there very famous. Okay. Well, but you see where he does put color? Mm -hmm. He lets it be a little bit of a block. I do see that, and it makes mm -hmm. a statement in the whole entire piece mm -hmm. too, even mm -hmm. in the reflection as well. Right. And so he's out there painting in all sorts of weather. Mm -hmm. Then he comes in, finishes it but he doesn't work it to death. He right. paints, he, puts 
puts the brushstroke on and leaves. Now that's one of my favorite. When Bertov paints in indoors, it's the weather's too bad or something outdoors or whatever, mm -hmm. somehow he gets a, a color scheme going. In this case, you've got a real cool blue and a very warm orange. They're beautiful. Everything else supports it. And see the green down below? Mm -hmm. These are three parts of the color wheel that right. really do look good together. Ah, well, So beautiful. theoretically, mm -hmm. he's right. His technique is good. But even though he graduated from with, with a really high marks from mm -hmm. college and everything mm -hmm. in art, mm -hmm. he does it his way. I, I like this man. He sound, I think he sounds like he's figured it all out. He would be a freestyle skier. What you? I was I was a freestyle skier too, so and he and I would probably be buddies. Snowboarder, he, he's done it all. So um, we can find all of these artists yes. at your gallery, and where are you located? 421 South Main mm -hmm. in Breckenridge, right on down at the end of Main Street. Mm -hmm. Right and on the corner there, it's very hard to miss. Right where Park and Main meet. And uh, I've got that art, and I do have some new art for the off season. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not perfect! Sure about that. Perfect. But it's there, so yes, we have well, plenty of time to take care of people. Well, it's fun to to stop by the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery and um, take a tour of the world with Jim and his colleagues over there. You do such a wonderful job, and we're so lucky to have you. Because oh, Jim thank really you. does. I mean, he truly travels all over the world. And by the way, he can speak Korean too, because that's just a fun <laughs> fact about about Jim here, our our um our resident art professor. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me, and it was nice to meet. Plato too. He's yes. getting close up this morning. He's figuring out how to be a movie star. He yeah. is. <laughs> I think so. Well, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Oh, You're and there very he welcome. is. Ah, there's a close up. There is Plato. <laughs> We've got um, more Summit Sunrise to come, including a watch and win, which is $25 to Greco's over on Main Street in Frisco. Don't go anywhere.